and I'm using this to polish up aluminum parts. The construction is pretty simple. Basically this is a uh, five gallon bucket that I cut off. Inside is a funnel that's screwed down upside down. And four screws to hold the bucket down. And this is all suspended. And basically this is just a piece of rope and it's hanging on a spring. And I've used a motorcycle tie down and I'm hooking it to the rafters so it stays suspended. This is my uh, counterbalance bar and I adjust these to get the uh, vibration I want. For the motor, it's just a 110 half horsepower Beldor motor I had laying around. You could probably use a quarter horsepower motor and it'd be just fine. This is what makes all the vibration. I had a old Lovejoy complete and I just tapped a 3 8 hole in it and put a bolt and a couple of lock nuts and some washers and I played with the weight a little bit. This is what the underside looks like. I use carriage bolts and nylock nuts because this thing vibrates like mad. This is the media I'm using. I just got picked up a bag of pea gravel and some just all-purpose sand. I'm playing with different medias to see what kind of finishes I get. These didn't cost more than two or three bucks a bag. The degreaser I'm using, I picked up at the dollar store for a buck. It's called Awesome. There's like this black stuff on a lot of oxidized aluminum parts and this is the only stuff I found that cuts it. I'm just going to rinse them off in the water. That's a pretty nice usable part. Got a little bit of cleaning there to do, but way better than it was. That's what a tappet cover cap came out to be. I'm pretty happy with that after an hour. That's looking great. Yep. Now I'll scrape the gasket off too. Here's a bunch of other parts I did that I'm letting dry on the stove. I ran these on the wheel buffer to make them look like this and now I got the look I want. It's kind of shiny but old school looking. And for a 50 year old engine, I'm real happy with the result. This little unit saved me a lot of elbow grease because these parts with fins are really hard to get clean, especially when they're all crusty and oxided. And this setup really took a lot of work on it. Put them in there and walk away. Come back in an hour or two and this is what you get after you rinse them off in a bucket of water. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.